Some people really like being on their phones until late at night. I know this isn't a good idea always because it overstimulates the brain. And they're asking if they could just add a, a blue light filter or even a red light filter. Um, I know Brian Johnson, I don't know if you've heard about him. He recommends a red light filter. Is this something you would recommend uh, to do? And could you explain the science behind that perhaps? There's something called the circadian rhythm. The circadian rhythm is something that is really critical to regulating the sleep-wake cycle. So when the sun is out during the day, the um, melatonin production is something that is suppressed, so you're awake. When the sun goes down, melatonin starts building up, and that triggers your brain to, hey, 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 brain, hey, body, we better start getting ready for bed. Um, you know, it's a good idea to, to, to slow down and, and start getting some sleep. When those sleep-wake cycles are disturbed, um, it can cause um, all sorts of things get out of whack. However, if we use those blue blockers or blue light this or blue light, that may help a little bit, but it's not going to really cure the problem. Um, you know, there's like night shift or whatever it is on the iPhone. There's all these different things. To me, um, like what I do at night is I start dimming lights in my house. Um, I start dimming lights in the room. Um, you know, it's okay to sleep with a nightlight, but sleeping in bright lights or, or really winding down should be done in a darker, dimmer place. So yes, I'm okay with blue light blockers, sure, but it doesn't uh, replace the fact that we need to make a plan for sleep.